Today, we are going to take a look at how the ratio function can be used to quickly and easily measure power. To measure power being dissipated by a device, we need to know two things. The voltage drop across it and the current flowing through it. Typically, this would require two separate measurements to be made, one using the input terminals and the other using the amps terminal. However, this can be simplified to a single measurement using the ratio function. This is possible because the ratio function measures the voltage across the sense terminals and the voltage across the input terminals at the same time. We will use a shunt resistor on the sense terminals to measure current, and we'll measure voltage on the input terminals. With the help of some TSP scripting, we can get the results shown here. We will go into more detail about how the script works in the second half of this video. We can actually show the power measurement live on screen with watts as units. TSP allows the instrument to do all the necessary math to display power. The script being run is available below. This method of measuring power is useful for quickly troubleshooting and for getting a pretty good general idea of how much power a particular branch of your circuit is drawing. Both the power buffer and reading buffer can be exported and saved to a CSV file on a flash drive, like so. Now, let's dig deeper into what this simple script is doing. First, we initialize a few variables. We set the shunt value to our specific shunt resistance, in this case 0.91 ohms, set our number of readings to 1000, and the time between each reading to 0.1 seconds. Then, we'll make our buffers using the buffer.make command. One is a full buffer, and the other is a writable buffer. Since we want to write power readings to the writable buffer, we'll format this one to display watts as the unit. Next, we'll change our function to ratio, our range to auto, and our NPLC to 0.1. Finally, we will use a for loop structure to make the measurements. We take the ratio measurement and store it in the variable ratio. Because we set up the reading buffer as full, the sense voltage is stored in the extra field. We will store that value to the vSense variable. We then store the seconds and fractional seconds from the ratio measurement. The current value is calculated by dividing the shunt resistor value from the sense voltage measurement according to Ohm's law. The voltage measurement is calculated by multiplying the sense voltage out of the ratio measurement leaving only the voltage on the input terminals. The power is calculated using P equals I times V and stored in the power buffer, which allows it to be displayed on the instrument's screen. We wait the amount of time specified in the time between variable and start the loop over, repeating a thousand times based on the readings variable. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, go to tech.com or contact Keithley Instruments.